Now this, this just makes your heart drop. Students running out of CU's Boulder Student Union, some of them with their hands in the air, following two threats on campus today. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi spoke to students tonight. Liz, they're telling you they were frustrated. They are, Ann, and tonight you can still see crime scene tape up at the Champion Center and cleanup crews also working here late tonight. Throughout the day, those students received a series of text messages, but two scares in one day proved to be too much. Students running after receiving a campus-wide alert. It wasn't even the first one of the day. We had no idea what was going on. People didn't know if there was a shooter, if there wasn't a shooter. And in the light of the events that happened earlier in the day, everyone was really panicked and really worried. Wednesday morning, police shot a man with a machete in the stairwell of the Champion Center. As you can imagine, situations like this fuel confusion. And misinformation. Maybe that's what led to false reports of an active shooter. Hours later, police explained the decision to send that alert. Based upon the multiple radio calls that we were getting, we elected to send a rave message to the campus community. One student we talked to took cover in her classroom. She appreciated the alerts and updates from the university. That's why I tweeted at CU because I was really, a lot of us were all really, really confused that they were telling us it was a hoax, but we were still quarantined like right outside of the UMC. It was really scary. But students voiced frustrations on social media, upset classes were not canceled after the incidents. I really think they should have canceled class in the entire second situation that I was involved with completely could have been avoided. The Champion Center and the University Memorial Center remain closed tonight and still no word on who this man is with the machete, who he was and what he was doing on campus. Reporting live in Boulder, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Thank you, Liz.